guys, welcome back. Uh, damn, isn't that intro fire? Uh, so, um, I wanted to cover Vanguard Bandits, uh, and I found that it hasn't been covered in YouTube very much. Uh, and I think that's pretty sad. So, I want to cover it, uh, and I hope I can do it justice. So, let's get into it. Okay, so the game starts with Bastion, and usually. Um, you control him and a few other people, um, but as the story starts, uh, Bastion is just a wanderer and he's just going around with his friends and, and his family, um, and he's just hiding from the, from the Empire, um, and I mean, I don't want to give too much away, but, uh, still happens, right? Um, and, uh, yeah, uh. Basically, the game is very similar in style to those, um, to those like Final Fantasy Tactics, which, in my opinion, this game is a lot more special to me. Uh, so yeah, I mean, it, it, you play sort of like in a grid. Uh, and yeah, the combat is pretty straightforward. <clears throat> you move, you have AP, which I guess are action points. Uh, points. And so, uh, basically, the enemy will take its turn. You take your turn, and then you have a few options. As you can see, you have attack, defend, avoid, and there's also a counter uh, uh, system to it. Um, uh, but yeah, I think the most uh, the most special mechanic in this game is is the FP uh, thing. So as you choose attacks, you'll probably be seeing that. Um, there's a yellow bar uh, and so if that bar fills up all the way to the top then you'll notice that your um, your mech stops working so it's actually pretty cool because it makes you uh, think about what tactics will you use and which attacks will you uh, will you use so for example like very um, very basic attacks like the slasher or thrust attacks those consume very little FP but then later on uh, you'll unlock a lot more powerful moves and basically those will be a lot more useful for sure but then you'll be consuming a lot of FP so um, as uh, as I said if that fills up all the way to the top you're stunned and you're gonna be losing a turn and not only that but uh, your mech is not gonna respond whatsoever so if you get attacked uh, you're gonna take a ton of damage so I mean yeah that's the base uh, the basics for the game uh, but I think uh, what stands out the most in this game is that you're gonna be doing a lot of choices as you've probably seen uh, and I mean, it's not like newer games where like there's a bajillion choices, but there's there's quite a few choices, and they will change the course of the story of this game uh, drastically. So, um, to the point where like the people who end up being your friends could end up being your enemies, and vice versa, right? Uh, and there's lots of different stages. I think there's like fifty something stages in total so um i mean there's tons of different mechs as well uh which in this game they're called attacks i think uh i don't know i don't know what it stands for to be honest but i think it's a really cool concept because like most of these things uh they're uh, i think some of them are built and some of them are excavated so the story is that it's actually pretty interesting uh so this is one of those games where like I really wish we had more uh, of the story and, and more to sort of um, understand better the story. Also, whenever you level up, you'll get uh, you'll get three points, and you level up every 500 experience points that you get. Uh, and so you'll get three points, and you're able to choose uh, uh, any of your stats to put it on. And this is actually really interesting too because. Um, you'll notice that there's also a menu uh, where uh, between missions you can choose how to equip your mech 
and your character and you can choose uh, the weapon the the type of stone they'll use which is usually like an elemental stone and then you'll choose uh, a, a, from between a few accessories not only that but you can also choose which uh, mech uh, your pilot will control at least to some extent I mean don't get crazy with that uh, <laughs> So, uh, for the most part, you won't be able to choose uh, which Mac Bastion controls, but then some of the others you will be able to sort of freely move around. Uh, but I think the most interesting thing is the fact that you can change the elemental stone, and afterwards, whenever you pick one of your elemental stones, then the type of stats that you get and that you'll have to focus on, they'll be completely different. So, for example, wind stones will be uh, mostly focused on agility and just being fast in general. Uh, and so, the type of attacks you will get usually have to do with that element. Uh, and so, you get, for example, like range attacks and things like that. And if you pick, uh, let's say, the fire stone, you'll have to focus mostly on power, and usually you'll get. Uh, very strong melee attacks or like for example like one of the best attacks that you get early on it's called fireball and usually it's a very it's a very strong attack and it's a very useful attack early on um, the only problem with it is that it, it generates a lot of uh, F, uh, FP and so another one of the systems is the interview system and this is actually pretty interesting because a lot of the characters are super quirky and actually like they say all kinds of weird stuff, so be prepared. Um, but uh, yeah, this is this is actually pretty cool because you get to interact with your teammates, and this uh, affects um, somewhat uh, in battle. In, in yeah, in the battles, it affects the way your characters perform next to each other, and also the reason why it's important is because this is directly tied to how they perceive how your teammates perceive you and at the same time it also affects the ending as well so you do want to keep an eye on whoever is actually not feeling too hot towards you and if all that didn't convince you then check this stuff out uh, once you do get to the ending you will you will be rewarded with this gem of a little scene so check it out Faulkner, what can you possibly hope to accomplish using Soulworn's black power? It's quite simple, actually. I desire all humanity to bow before me. I will not allow that to happen if it's within my power. You see, the country in which I was born was ruined by the Empire. Or so I thought, until I learned the kingdom had committed that heinous act. That revelation drove me to slip into the Empire. Now that I see the hypocrisy on both sides, I shall destroy the kingdom and the empire. But Faulkner, there's no need to involve innocent people in your revenge. You seek to destroy both the kingdom and empire. But don't you see? You're repeating the same mistakes you witnessed. <laughs> At some point, the weak are to be trampled by the strong. It's inevitable. Just forgive and forget. Let it go, Faulkner. <laughs> It's not a matter of forgetting and forgetting, Prince Charming. This is harsh reality. My reality. <laughs> My power over the continent shall grow to be absolute. No one shall hold sway over me again. You're wrong, Faulkner. Soul One will own your soul. You had a choice. Choosing to visit pain upon innocence was the wrong one. They knew nothing of your past. And besides, even if you do make them suffer, their pain won't heal the pain you feel over your lost loved ones. Can't you see that? Your quest for absolute domination won't fill the void in your soul. Enough speech, boy. Your words cannot save you from defeat in battle. Ha! I won't lose to you. <laughs> You'll have to try harder than that, boy. I cannot let you win, Faulkner. For the sake of my nation, for the sake of my friends, and for my sake, you shall be stopped. 
Enough battling! Zorvorn longs for new blood! Stand and perish! I will defeat you for the honor of all those that perish to stop you! Ha! Dream on, wealth! You'll never win, Faulkner. Perhaps this will be more to your life. Ha! Take this! The time has come to end this cheap charade. You can't seal me in darkness. I summon forth the light. Goodbye, Faulkner. I pity you. What? This is impossible. His power is breaking through. It's over. Everything is... Everything I am... It's over. Wow, what game has that epic of an ending fight? I mean, I'm just saying, right? <laughs> but anyway, if you like this video, give it a like. Uh, remember to subscribe. And uh, yeah, man, give this game a try. I think it's one of the most underrated, uh, you know, Japanese RPG tactic type of games. Uh, and so, yeah, I guess uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.